Hey, folks! Let's spill the tea on how Buffy dodging the tax game. Buffy spills the beans on his will, a whopping one hundred and twenty billion dollar fortune handed straight to charity. Well, he built three foundations: Howard Foundation, all about world peace; Nova Foundations, protecting women and kids; Sherwood Foundation, building up Buffy's hometown, Omaha. And well, we can see from the left to right in the picture, Howard Buffett, sixty-nine, the businessman; Susan Buffett, seventy, the philanthropist; Peter Buffett, sixty-five, the musician. All these three foundations rock the sweet five hundred one status. Buffett's basically passing the family wealth down like a pro, avoiding those hefty estate taxes. And how about his kids? They can keep rolling without worrying about taxes. It's a perfect financial flex. And check out the pro-public organizations for the foundation's financials. These three are rolling with the base of just one dollar. Buffett says they're throwing all the money out in the next ten years, no messing around. And about non-profit rubric, we can find that they can even have for-profit business on the net, and there's no tight lash on how fast they invest. Even if they're not turning a profit, the whole family can still benefit from charity projects. Long story short, these three are sitting pretty, holding a massive fortune, and cruising smoothly into the sunset. Buffett's got their post-life plans unlocked. Why of this rich guy skip the tax bill? Guess maybe some of you are curious about the logic of being rich and tax-free. It dates back to 1916. A stockholder named McCauley got taxed for a stock split, filed it up to the Supreme Court. She filed it up to the Supreme Court, arguing her stocks grow, but she didn't got any cash, no income. The court agreed, and the concept of income only from the gains became a cornerstone of the U.S. tax system. And how about Buffett's wealth? It's all from the Berkshire Hathaway stocks appreciating. No selling, no dividends, all donated to the case. Naturally, no taxes. Forbes crunched the numbers from 2014 to 2018. Buffett's wealth jumped by 24.3 billion dollars, and he paid 23.7 million dollars in the taxes. You can count it. Is that a real tax rate? Just 0.1 percent. Unbelievable, right? About or we can find a real deal about the world. Buff is not alone in the system gaming party. Flores went wild three years straight with no tax payments. Rich folks' wealth skyrockets dramatically, while their tax bills are almost invisible. And how about the regular folks? The more you earn, the more you pay. Linear dance between wealth and taxes. So that's we said. In a nutshell, regular folks grind it out. Rich folks play the tax game. That's the real deal behind how the world spins.